Welcome to your daily 49ers update. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. Here's what's happening. Stop me if you've heard this one before. The 49ers blew a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter and lost the game. The Rams kicked a 37-yard field goal with four seconds to go. They beat the Niners 27-24 at SoFi. After the game, Diamador Lenore said the quiet part loud. This loss come from being too complacent. You know, um, we was up, what, 14 0. Should have put them away, uh, gave them hope, and they was able to come back and win the game. So I think this got a lot to do with finishing. He is 1000% right. This team absolutely cannot put teams away. They keep them in the game, and the Rams walked right through that door on Sunday. Kyle Shanahan, what's the mood in the locker room right now? I knew everyone was pissed um, without them having to tell me, and we should be. When, when you have a game like that where you feel you have every chance to win and you don't get it done, uh, those are the ones, those are usually the more disappointing ones. Um, every, all three phases had their doing that, um, but there was also times that uh, a phase could take over and not even allow it to come to something. And, and I told them last night, you got to take their hope away. Um, you give Stafford too much hope and you give them, give, put the ball in his hands at the end. Um, that's not a situation you want to be in. And we had every chance to avoid that situation a number of times, and we came up short. Not only did the 49ers not take hope away, they kept giving hope to the Rams. They allowed a fake punt to go for a conversion on fourth down. The 49ers missed a 55-yard field goal that would have made it a two-score game in the fourth quarter. And the 49ers allowed a 38-yard punt return on the Rams' final possession to set them up for the game-winning field goal. That is giving the other team hope. That is giving the less talented team a chance to win a game too many times. So, Nick Bosa, you're one and two. You have a loss in the division. You have a loss in the NFC. Two losses in the NFC, in fact. How do you fix this? I think we have to feel the loss for sure. We can't just move on and act like it's fine. Um, You feel the loss and um, you just start stacking week by week. That quote doesn't say much for the culture inside this locker room. You better not let this loss just slide off. You things have to change. We have seen it through two weeks this year. We have seen it with this defense forever. If you throw it deep on this defense, it's going to work for the other team. Something has to change, and it better change fast, or this season's going to go down the toilet real quick. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Monday. Our winners and losers column will be up on goldstandardniners.com. Hard to find more winners than just Juwan Jennings, but I will do my best. One thing to watch, the injury report. Kyle Shanahan didn't have much after the game. He said Javon Hargrave hurt his triceps. No idea on the severity of that injury. Let's be real. Kyle Shanahan never knows what's going on with injuries after the game. He'll have a conference call later today. We should know more then. One thing you may have missed, you know Juwan Jennings was awesome, right? 11 catches, 175 yards, three touchdowns. What you might have missed is he's the first 49ers wide receiver with three touchdowns in a game in 23 years. Terrell Owens was the last one to do it in 2001. And Jennings' three touchdown catches on Sunday were more than he had in the previous two seasons combined. Juwan Jennings, hell of a day. Juwan was unbelievable. I mean, I think the numbers show it, but more than the numbers, just um, he, he was he was a warrior the whole game. He's always like that, got a lot more opportunities today, and um, was automatic on every single one, and even some bad looks. Um, when I didn't know if the ball should go there, um, it, you quickly saw after it that they weren't, they weren't going to take that away from Juwan, and um, he was very inspiring today how he played. The two biggest games of Juwan Jennings' career were the Super Bowl that the 49ers lost and yesterday that the 49ers lost. Can this man have a good game and actually get a chance to celebrate, please? That's a wrap on today's 49ers and 5. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network wherever you get your audio podcasts. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Click the bell to get notified every single time we go live, which is every single weekday and after every 49ers game for you. I'm Rob Stats Carrera. Enjoy your Monday, everybody. We'll talk later today.